Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. I want to talk with you today about if your world is getting smaller. I'm going to tell you a case study and four questions to help you decide if that's okay with you. It does seem that more of my clients are choosing to shrink their world. It's always been common among older people, but current factors seem to be increasing people's deciding to be more isolated. Of course, there's fear of contracting COVID, but also people having to be more isolated because of COVID may make them feel out of practice with being social. And then there's the fear of saying the so-called wrong thing about politics or race or gender. Well, the following report from a client, which is a, a composite of, uh, uh, actually it's not, actually it's really mainly almost exclusively from one actual client. Um, it's illustrative. And I will change irrelevant details to protect the client's anonymity. I'm going to do this first person as though it was the client talking to you. I was never that social, but I'm choosing to be more isolated than ever. It's not COVID, really. It's this vague unease around people. Even as I walk down the street, whereas I might have established a bit of eye contact with a passerby in the past, maybe smiled, maybe even made some small talk like nice day or pretty dog, now I avert people's eyes, even find myself crossing to the other side of the street. More important from a career counseling perspective, I switched jobs. I was a copy editor and I had to often interact with the book authors and I'm, I was finding myself getting gun shy about making any but the most unarguable changes. So I got my boss to allow me to switch to being a proofreader, you know, unearthing little errors such as using an M dash uh, or they're using two hyphens instead of an M dash. After work, I spent almost all my time alone, reading, watching movies, jogging, cooking, cleaning my apartment, listening to podcasts. In short, my world has shrunk. It feels okay, but somehow at age 30, it feels age inappropriate. What do you think? So, okay, so I asked the client these questions and maybe they'll be of value to you. You don't sound unhappy with your increased solohood, only that it defies the conventional wisdom that humans are social animals. How are you really feeling about it? Are you being overly cautious or fearful regarding COVID? That is going well beyond the CDC and local rules and guidelines. In terms of your work strengths, are you actually better suited to be a proofreader or a copy editor? Usually proofreading pays less and is less likely to lead to promotions. Is that okay with you? Now applying that question to you, my viewer, uh, are you making decisions to spend less time at work with people? And if so, is that okay? And Let's say you'd like to take a baby step back to a more social existence. Might you want to try any of these? Take a class online where, as you see fit, you can just sit there or interact. Make non-threatening small talk with a coworker, a neighbor, a family member. Get active uh, on online forums, like maybe one for proofreaders or copy editors. Uh, text or get together with a friend or family member you feel comfortable with. Even revert to your previous behavior with passerbys. Passersby, I guess. For example, make a bit of eye contact and even do your old standby, comments about the weather, the dog, whatever. Anyway, do the previous questions make you want to try to change your level of interaction? And if so, do you want to try any of the suggestions I just offered? In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.